happy Monday. Um, we have not done one of these in a long while, but today I'm going to be taking you through what I am eating in a day right now. So this is the off season for me, which is a building season, but as you guys also know, it's been lockdowns and quarantines. So it's been a really strange time and I just thought it would be interesting to take you guys through like a kind of boring but pretty standard day in the life and show you what I am eating now. I'm recording this on my phone today and I need to remember to look at the lens, not at myself. <laughs> so I have been having tea in the morning instead of coffee for the last uh, several weeks, just to give myself a little bit of a coffee break. I don't, don't really need it, and I don't like it when caffeine has zero effect, so I've just decided to cut it back a little bit. Today is gonna be a pretty normal Monday. I have to work, I have some phone calls, and I hopefully am gonna get to train and take you guys with me for that. Like I said, it's I've been in off season for two years now. Well, let me tell you, if there was ever a year to not be competing, this is it. <laughs> um, so I am tracking, but I've been tracking pretty loosely. But for the purposes of the video today, I am gonna I'm, I'll just track everything so I can tell you guys exactly what I've been eating. So, cheers. Let's get into today. Okay guys, it is about 10.30. Yeah, I just like to have my tea and drink water while I get started with my work day. Then I come out here and feed the dogs. And now I'm gonna make my breakfast and I'm gonna do protein pancakes with cinnamon apples. I'm gonna throw some like pumpkin spicy stuff in there because today, well, today's normally the first day of fall. It's always been September 21st, but apparently this year it changed to September 22nd, but whatever, we're celebrating fall today. So here we go. Protein pancakes.
Okay, so this is my official meal one. I haven't plugged in the macros for it yet. I'll pop them up on the screen. Um, this plus my tea, I think it's around 500 calories or so, um, probably about 30 grams of protein, roughly. Gonna dig in. And I'm also gonna take my supplements right now, um, which are multivitamin, vitamin D. I take ashwagandha and lysine. I would normally take an omega-3 supplement, my, my Testa that I love so much, but I'm just out of it right now, so gonna take these, eat that, get back to work. What's this over here? This is our <laughs> official table and station where we will be podcasting from here on out. <laughs> muscles by Brussels. At Daisy's desk. Yes. No on Daisy's clothes. Desk. No muscles by <laughs> Brussels. Hey guys, so we just finished recording the podcast. I have a phone call with Vegan Strong in five minutes. If you don't know what Vegan Strong is, it is a not-for-profit organization. We educate and inform people about how to go vegan in a fitness lifestyle. It's awesome. Go follow us on Instagram. It's fantastic. We have a crazy project coming soon. I am about to scarf down this bagel with peanut butter before the call. Okay, I just wrapped up my vegan strong call. This has been a whirlwind of a day already. It is 3.11. I've gotten so much work done, recorded a podcast, had an hour long phone call. But you know what I haven't done yet? Trained. Let's do it. So I was trying to find Giacomo to tell him that I was gonna go train and see if he wanted to come with me. So this is the gym in my garage. It's very cold out today. It got cold here really fast. So I'm trying to, you know, jog a little to warm up. I'm gonna be doing, I think Romanian deadlifts, bench press, lat pull down, um, and then some other upper body stuff today. It's a mix of upper body things. So I'm gonna get started. This is probably gonna take me about an hour to 90 minutes or so. I'll try to catch some of it on film for you guys, but I'm not gonna go too much into training, otherwise this video will be way too long. If you guys wanna know more about my training, let me know, I'm happy to film a video for you about how I train. So anyway, let's do it. challenging workout today but while I was working out I got this package from herbivore clothing company that they uh, sent to me for vegan strong stuff so first we have the new tank top this is an extra small I haven't seen them yet all right so they're a little bit lighter in color let's try it on Whew. behind the camera, I hope you guys can see it, because I can't see a monitor. So it says, plants have all the protein you need on the back. It's not super fitted, but it's not baggy really either. Uh, and I could tie it if I wanted to in the back, but I like it. I like the crop top they have too. I like them both. And they also sent us, uh, Jack and I 
these masks. So obviously we all have to wear masks right now. And this, can you guys see it? Am I in the, am I in the frame? It says vegan strong on it. I like that. <sighs> Passes the breathe test. I can breathe fine. And it's a little bit thicker than the other ones I have too. So super cool. If you guys are interested in this or this, <laughs> or actually the hoodie I was wearing at the start, uh, they can all be found at herbeforeclothingcompany.com. Phenomenal people, great quality products, and they've been in business for like a bajillion years. They're like the OG vegan clothing company. So you should check them out. So I just came inside. I'm gonna make a post-workout. It's kind of lunch, I guess, um, but it's 4.40, so this is pretty normal for me. Um, I am making in my air fryer. I know how much you've missed the air fryer, guys. <laughs> I'm making a half a block of tofu that I wish you guys could have seen it. I should have filmed that. I just dumped salt and pepper on, but when I dumped the pepper, there was no top. So it's gonna be pretty spicy. So half a block of tofu. And then I'm gonna do this stuff. I've actually never had it before. Earthly Choice Barley and Lentil Organic Blend. Probably gonna have this whole package. Plug that in and then a veggie. Who knows what veggie? You'll know after I'm done cooking. All right, guys, this is the finished product. So I did zucchini, just diced it through it in the air fryer, half a block of tofu, and the whole pouch of barley and lentils. Ready to dig in. Okay, so finished lunch. It was good, I like that barley stuff. Um, now I am going to like a go for a walk. I do this every day because I like to hit 10,000 steps, but it's hard when you're just sitting at a desk. And I also call my mom while I go for my walk every day. So I'm gonna go do that now. Hey guys, boy, oh boy, did I pick like the worst day to do this. So, fun facts about today. We're getting our butts kicked at work, which is a good problem, I am not complaining. But also we decided to switch up our content schedule. So this video will be coming out on Tuesday and today is Monday. And because today is Monday, that's too short notice to give our video editor. I could not do that to you, Sarah. So I am editing it, which I don't know what I was thinking, thinking that I could edit this in one night and have it up by tomorrow. So I'm getting up from editing this video to film this video. How meta are we? It is 8.43 at night. And I'm gonna eat dinner now, which is only a little bit later than I normally eat dinner, so don't think it's like super duper late. I'm about to show you the easiest dinner on earth. Are you ready for this? Featuring none other than the air fryer. Duh. Okay, I take the basket, I put it on the scale. I'm gonna be using Morningstar Farm chicken strips. I love these guys. I usually do about a half of a bag as one serving, which is really one and a half serving. It's about 112 and a half grams. So who's counting? Close enough. These are potatoes that I grew, actually. This is the last of them. So these are potatoes that I grew. I roasted them with some spices and then froze them. And I'm gonna do 150 grams of these. So I tear my scale, add 150 grams. Please let me have 150 grams. All right, so I actually have a tiny bit more than that. And I'm just gonna use them up. So it's actually 180 grams. That's fine. I have some extra carbs left over anyway for the day. Frozen broccoli. I don't know, I'm just gonna eyeball this like two cups or so. There's plenty of seasonings on the, the Morningstar from chicken strips and the potatoes. So that's it. So it looks like this. It's going in the air fryer. I'm going to do it for 11 minutes at 370. Here we go. See you in 11 minutes. Okay guys, so here is that dinner 11 minutes later in one container. Look at that. Look at that, it's so delicious. I'm recording this video on my phone, so I cannot tell you what the macros are, but I will put them right here. Look at editing me is learning to leave a big empty space to put a thing in. So here are the macros. And then I'm gonna have one more, not really a meal, more like a snack later and we will wrap this up. 
Oh, and Frank's. I'm gonna put Frank's on it because of course I am. Yeah. Okay, here's my final snack of the day. It is a popsicle. The days left for popsicles are few and far between. This is the, from the brand Outshine. It's the grape popsicle, objectively the best popsicle. So I'm gonna eat this, Giacomo and I chill at the end of the night and watch something together on TV. Jerome stays by my side. Xander meows for pets, right? Pets? Yes, pets. Joey hates us all. He's over on that couch over there. <laughs> Um, so the macros on this popsicle, it's 15 grams of carbs. That's it. That's all that's in it. But the total macros for today, I memorized them before we started recording. <laughs> Let's see if I actually remember them. It was 1964 calories, 236 grams of carbohydrates, 57 grams of fat, and 132 grams of protein. So one of the nice things about tracking is a lot of times um, in the off season, if I don't pay attention, I under eat. 1964 is actually under eating a little bit for me right now. I should be closer to like 2100. Maybe I'll have a graham cracker later, but for all intents and purposes, this is it. Um, yeah, and that is enough of a surplus for me to get stronger and feel full, sometimes too full <laughs> even. and make progress. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating, day in the life, in the off season, quarantine, 2020 apocalypse. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this from me or Giacomo or training videos or anything, let us know. And if you haven't subscribed, please do because it really helps us out a lot. And if you like this editing, please compliment me on it because this was really, really hard. Sarah, you are worth every penny. I'm just saying. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye.